Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got another fall treat for you today. This is a slider box. Let's see if I can get it open. Inside, of course, Little Debbie and her pumpkin spice rolls. Little Debbie is one of my favorite treats to buy because they're cheap. You've got six of them in here. I think it was like $3 and uh, dress it up and it makes a very special treat this time of the year. I'm using the pick of the patch bundle one of my favorites from the holiday catalog. I love pumpkins and here we've got a variety. Also, we've got that cute little gourd, which I really like. So that's what we're going to make. Um, we're gonna start with our box. And this box has two pieces. Um, there's a lot of scoring, but it's, it's not too difficult. If you click the link here on YouTube and go back to my blog, you will find this PDF, it's free. And on the second page, all those measurements that you need will be right here. Um, the first page has two other pick of the patch projects. It's like a tongue twister. If you would like to get more inspiration. All right. We're using copper clay. The first piece, this will make the drawer part that comes out. It's nine and three fourths by seven. And on the long side, we're going to score it at one and a fourth, two and a half, seven and a fourth and eight and a half. And then turn it to the short side and score it at one and a fourth, two and a half, four and a half, and five and three fourths. Okay, and then we've got this smaller piece. This will be kind of like the tunnel that the little drawer goes in. Um, it is four and seven eighths by seven and a fourth. And we're going to just score the long side at two and an eighth, three and three eighths, five and a half and six and three fourths. All right, now your choice of adhesive is up to you. Um, for things like this, I like to use liquid glue and I'm gonna use some clothespins to hold it closed so we get a nice good seal on it. So that your box is crisp, you also want to score, all, or, uh, burnish all these lines with your bone folder. And it just helps to get them nice and crisp. All right, now we're going to cut the three corners off of each um, corner, all right? And when you do, I want you to, now it doesn't, it doesn't matter which way you do this, you have to just make sure you do it the same each time. I think what we'll do is cut in from the short side, okay? So when you cut, cut all the way in, all right? Now we're gonna leave this flap here, but we're gonna cut these three off. All right, it'll all make sense when we get to the end. All right, so just snip that off. So see how we've got a tab there? So cut in, and then we're gonna cut these off. This always reminds me of Tetris, the little L pieces, you guys know. Um, if you play Tetris, I always like the L pieces for some reason. All right, so again, from the short side, cut all the way in. And then we'll just cut off these pieces. Like this. This box will also fit a pumpkin spice Twinkie. I have made this box in the past and put a pumpkin Twinkie. So whatever your heart desires, whatever you can find in your local store, you could also just fill it with candy. I mean, nobody's gonna fault you for there, right? There's lots of fall candy. Okay, so here is what your box looks like. Now, what we're gonna do is take glue and put it on the outside of these four tabs. So just give it a good amount and then fold up into these sides like this, okay? And then this, let's see if I can fold these back so you guys can see. And then we'll fold that up like that. All right, so now this is what your box looks like. These tabs are gonna fold over into the inside. This just gives, whoa, got a little crazy there with the glue, didn't I? This just gives your box a nice rounded edge. I feel like when we're pulling the ends of our box um, to, to go in and out of that little holder, we need to have kind of strengthened sides, if you will. All right, now I'm gonna take my 
clothespins and just clip them down. That's gonna get that glue to sit and adhere nicely. All right, let's see, why don't we put a couple in the middle as well. Okay, so we'll put that aside to dry. This other piece is much easier. You're just gonna burnish all the way down. And I'm not gonna use liquid glue here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use tear and tape. Tear and tape is perfect for these long skinny tabs like this. And just put that right there. And peel off that backing. And fold it in half and there is your little tunnel like that. Okay, now let's make the decorations, the fun part, the stamping. We're gonna stamp, all of these are gonna be punched or cut out except for this one back here. I wanted them all at different variations. Now our punch will punch out the middle and the large. And when I am gonna punch something, I kinda like to see where the placement needs to be on my paper. So I'm gonna stamp the small one on this corner and the large one on that corner just to make it a little bit easier. We're gonna do copper clay and pumpkin pie. All right, so our pumpkin pie, we're gonna do right here. I'll make sure I am in the frame right here. And then we'll do the pumpkin or the copper clay on the right corner. The copper clay is similar to our Cajun craze, but it's a little more subtle. It's a little more subdued. And actually, I think now that I'm looking at it, look, now you can really tell the difference, right? It's not copper clay. It is actually Cajun craze. Well, that's a good experiment for us to check it out, right? Let's see. Do I have my chamois? Um, no. Okay. Well, we're just going to go for it. Let's see what this looks like. All right. Let's compare Cajun craze and copper clay very similar, right? I feel like Cajun Cray is a little more bright and the uh, copper clay is a little more uh, subtle maybe, a little more neutral. All right, so let's punch out that one and I'm gonna get that one right there, that Cajun Cray. I do like that one better. All right, so now the next two we're gonna stamp have to be fussy cut. Not all the pumpkins have punches to match, but that's okay. We're gonna do a little pumpkin pie uh, pumpkin, and then we're gonna grab crushed curry, and where is my gourd? Right here, like that. Okay, so now for the stem, we have a stem stamp, and I feel like it's kind of long a little bit too long. So I'm only gonna ink up about three fourths of it and stamp it right there. For this guy, I'm only gonna ink up about half of it. There we go. All right, Woo! oh my, did you see that? That could have been a disaster. <laughs> I would have cried if my ink pad had landed on my beautiful project. All right, so just get your paper snips and cut these out. I like this gourd, how it's leaning to the side. I am a little bit obsessed with gourds and pumpkins. The, the bumpier, the weirder, the better. I like the bumpy pumpkins, the ones that have funky colors. I think they're just so fun. All right, so there is our gourd. And then this little guy, we'll just go around and around. It's best to cut off that excess cardstock as you go so it's not in your way. And I'm staying right on the outside of the image, leaving a little narrow white border. All right, now for our, for our two right here, we need to punch some stems. And I'm just gonna punch the stem from copper clay, okay? You can use some of your, whoops, not that one. Where did my other one go? Oh, there he is, he's hiding. You can use the scraps from the piece that you cut um, a little while ago. All those little Tetris pieces that we cut off, you can use those 
to punch out your stem if you don't want to waste any more paper. All right, so there are our four little pumpkins, little gourds, and I have got a stylish shape. Stylus, no, that's not what they're called. Nested essential dies, that's what this call, is called. All right, I'm gonna get my long and skinny pumpkin and I'm gonna stamp that right over here on the left side. Okay, and let's grab that stem again. And what did I use, copper clay? All right, let's see. I'm gonna stamp about half of it so our stem isn't too long like that. Very cute, very cute. All right, and now we're just gonna arrange our pumpkins. Let's start with our gourd, and we'll put him right here. And then let's put our, our Cajun Craze pumpkin right here. And we'll put our little baby. I like the little baby, he's cute, right there. And then last but not least, let's put this guy right here. All right, so now bring back over your little piece, your scrap piece of basic white, and we're just gonna stamp the sentiment, and again, copper clay. And I'm just gonna do it right here along the edge, like that. And I'm gonna grab my trimmer, and we're just gonna slice it. Just a, a narrow, Let's see, it looks like maybe I didn't stamp straight. So I'm gonna line the words up there at the top of my, of my gutter. The gutter is where your blade goes through. So you wanna make sure everything is out of the gutter. All right, now I'm gonna cut these ends at an angle. I didn't leave myself much room there. And we're just gonna put that right across there. Let's, I'm just gonna do one dimensional. All right, now let's bring this over. This designer series paper, look how gorgeous this is. This is from um, an online exclusive only designer series paper, and it's actually called Traditions of St. Nick. And it actually coordinates with our St. Nick stamp set. But there's some great patterns in here like this. Not even a Christmas project, but it goes beautifully. That copper clay twill pattern. All right, dimensionals again. Put them right here. And we'll put that right there. And then, beauty of stamping up, we have ribbon that is in the exact same color, copper clay. Don't you love perfect color coordination? Stamping up really does make it easy for us. Embellishments, paper, ribbon, ink, markers, pattern paper. Oh my goodness, I just butchered, butchered that. Let's try that again. Um, which really just makes putting your projects together so easy. All right, a glue dot here. And we'll put that right there. And now let's bring over this guy. And we're going to get our pumpkin spice roll. Put that in, and then in it goes, and there you have it. I hope you guys like this project. I love this bundle. I love this paper, I love these colors, I love everything about it. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop back to my blog. I have lots of pick of the patch uh, samples for you for inspiration. Make sure you check them all out, not only on the post for this project, but there are some in the days before and the days after as well. All right, everybody, happy fall. Have fun stamping. Bye-bye.